not worry about, I mean, you still have to worry at some point about, oh my God, it's 10 episodes, I cannot go more. Right. But you don't have to worry about the two hour or two and a half hour time but limit. So yeah, the, it the allowed us to say. The point is a freeing part of it. Hmm. I w we were, I was feeling stifled <laughs> by the format. Oh. Stop, limit. stop talking. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it was freeing because there was, uh, we were really getting stifled a bit. Because, like I said, independent filmmakers wanting to make something unique, not wanting to make what is out so there. So stifled in what sense? You've been stifled in the terms of The format of the feature, theatrical feature film format where you required, let us say, the simplest one would be song and dance, an interval okay, point, like a, right. a big star, the one that will get openings, the where you'll have to cater to the image, and then uh, what will bring you the Friday numbers because your movie's dead on Friday. First show is all you get. Mm -hmm. There is no... You have, you are more and more, we felt at least that it had to get superficial for the story. It has to become more about packaging for people to be attracted to theaters because there was no time given for a movie to breathe. Hmm. So it's the packaging. You boom, you see the trailer, you see the faces, you see the music and I want to go for it or not, you're, you're screwed. It, some movies get, you know, lucky and you get some breathing space and then you discover and say, what a film. You know, all this. So hence, the series suddenly uh, felt like we were g genuine filmmakers once once again, where we could tell stories the way they should it be told. pure storytelling. became right. a pure storytelling as opposed to packaging. And now today, after all these years, right? Mm. I mean, there's, there's great merits in both kinds, in both formats. We, would, we can't wait to go and make our next film out there and put it in a theater. And, you know, we are dying to do that. But that said, I, right now I could wa I could point a few films that I like worldwide that I think would have done better if they were would have been a better experience for me at least if it had been a series. For example, Napoleon that came out as a film, or there was a film called uh, House of Gucci. These are stories I felt are being let down by being a film. Is the reverse true as well that you see some things that are being stretched into series, but they could really have been films, or maybe they were really films and just pulled exactly. to, to yeah, eight, yeah, there are, eight there hours yeah, there because are you on both sides. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Anubhav, for you, this was this the one that you just currently shot. Uh, that's the IC eight one four hijack drama. That's your first web series, if I'm not mistaken, as a director. How was that different from all the films that you've done in all these years? No, so I have done a show before this, uh, not for web, but... Uh, television, yes. Television, it right. was uh, Seahawks I did in right. 95, 96. So, it's fairly similar. Okay. You have more resources at hand. And uh, so, I, I don't think that part of it changes. It's telling the story and it's a slightly different format. Uh, in, in film, you have a captive audience that will come into the theater and you'll turn off the lights and you'll control the entire experience. When you go to their homes, that's not the case. You're not controlling the entire experience. They are cooking or they are fighting mm. or they are loving, hopefully, and they're watching the show. So it's different in that sense. Uh, but otherwise, as a storyteller, the idea of engagement, the idea of uh, uh, touching them, uh, Remains the With same. more characters and just more time to sort of no, you know, flesh films, out the story? No, films can have more characters. Television had an interesting format which web series doesn't have. I don't know if it's more interesting. I'm saying interesting. Okay. Guys, is that really an alarm? Uh, is the place on fire? Do we know this for sure? Sorry, yeah. On television, what happened was you saw an episode and you had to wait another week to yes. watch, watch the second episode. So that the telling had to be different. Now all the episodes, mostly, most more often than not, they come together. Now it's your choice whether you want to see it tomorrow or the next Thursday or whenever, or all at once. So that is the only difference in terms of where you end the episode engaging. In I, I'm sure that's from the audience's perspective. When you are sitting down uh, to write it, to write the show, to shoot the show, how does that change for you? Nothing. That's all you are looking after. That. I want them to binge my entire show. Okay. So it ends and you... It ends at a hook? And No, you cannot say, oh, wow, what a show. I'll watch it tomorrow, the next episode. You should not have that time. You should just go to the next one right there. So you'll write it in that... So you write way. it like that. So it, that, that design changes, 
but that's only about the beginning and end uh, otherwise it's then it becomes a 45 minute film which must leave you asking for more vikram uh, with jubilee and all the films that you've done especially when it comes to like say a beginning middle and end uh, most screenwriters are used to a particular format which is a midpoint in terms of a second act third act and the first this is there is the second act that just can carry on forever right how do you change that when it comes to directing and also writing i i, th I think as to what uh, anubhav also said is the fact that you want it to be left every episode to be left to a place where okay next 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 so um the way we've broken down whether it's sacred games or jubilee uh, mm. or the fact is that yes there is a larger structure to your entire season arc but then every episode itself also has a beginning middle and ending so you have a, a right. beginning so middle and ending for one episode you're making a film within a much larger film within a much larger film you know there's a i think the very very primary difference if you have to look at it mm. it's not again no rules to it is that movies are stories movies are about stories or about plots and series are about people the the difference mm. is uh if you take all the greatest series that we've we've seen internationally whether it's game of thrones or whether it's uh, breaking bad or any of these things you're there for the people you're mm, there characters. for you're there for the characters right. you're there f that that's what you're there for because it's uh, you you form a relationship with these people and you you watch 10 hours of their life and you're back the next year and the next year and the next year to keep watching more and more things uh kind of about them this is a very basic broad kind of difference right. which is the reason also for some reason that the entire Marvel universe works because it's actually a very very large series mm. within those small films. So in the end of the day, so each film is actually an episode that they put out. Each one is actually an episode that so you started with, you know, Iron Man in 2008 and you're culminating with him in 2019, but it's mm. an 11 year journey that you spent with this character and other multiple characters and Interesting. Um so you you tend to sort of see it mm. um you tend to see it that way, but the writing once you're a fan of the I think the reason I at least and, and you know, is that got into or was excited about the series format in the first place is that even before Netflix and Amazon came and we were already watching them we were already mm. watching house of cards and um uh uh, uh anything whether breaking bad 20 so many right. great shows yeah. we were watching it you know and the sopranos and anything so you were already a fan your water cooler conversations were not movies anymore they were mm. series have you seen the latest episode of blah 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 right um so automatically you were interested in the format and mm. then when the opportunity came and i think the outreach from from the streamers was to reach out not to tv people but to reach out to movie people mm. because this wasn't television this was about cinematic series storytelling also india hadn't had a hbo moment i mean exactly. they had it in 99 we were still exactly. making that so television. we jumped in because we're like this is great this is exactly what i'm watching and it's also what i want to do so and we figured it out along the way the writing process is not that difficult to figure out you figure it out i mean you're saying in in effect um with a series as against a film there is a, a proper film with each episode that you're putting out which also has its own title uh which has its own characters and then it has a beginning middle end and you start all over again yep that sounds like a lot of work it is yeah. is, is it a lot of work uh, compared to all the films that you guys have done i i mean obviously the labor intensive part of it you obviously shooting way more uh but you also writing way, way more you also keeping a lot of things in mind would that be correct to say it is a, it is a lot of work you know it is into 5 into 6 times with making a feature film for sure also we when we started we realized we didn't want to do those longish uh, series series where you have we so i started this dissecting other series that were out there and mm. you i could see that they really use four locations in a series even in a homeland or anything they keep intercutting between them mm. so that you can have a director for each episode or maybe to finish the episode i'm not sure i just didn't care much for it because we were jumping like as you were jumping locations like how you've been jumping like you yeah. could like every scene could just be like another part of india right yeah, I and mean all the shows you've done we, because we were wanted to shoot it like a feature film right anything we shot we sh because we are filmmakers feature right. filmmakers right we right. wanted to do it like a feature film speed edit don't have to lengthen a scene just to just to uh you know just to is that really signal Yeah I think we should that's really rude guys <laughs> I had like at least five more questions I think I asked you five questions or not tell me the odd <laughs> Yeah exactly yeah carry on Um yeah so no, I won't ask five <laughs> <laughs> What was the question 
No, I see your point. I think since we're coming to the uh, to the the last po point that we have to address, of course, because we have addressed commerce and certainly some elements of art. The third that remains is technology, and clearly that's changed over the years. And sir, since you've been around, uh, I'm presuming you're the oldest in this lot. Uh, digital, from you know, we've gone from film to digital, VFX. We're looking at AI right now. Uh, one, do you see? Have you have you been using AI in filmmaking yet? Have you used any of the new technologies that we keep hearing about? But is it is it there in your? Are you storyboarding no, with, with AI? Say, yes, I can say that a few years back, two years back, it was like a threat. Now I uh, I haven't used it. I think, uh, but I, we are on the verge. Like okay. we, as I said, as a student, you right. you keep on learning as a student of cinema and. We can't shy away from it, and it it will become part of our life very soon. And we have to bind our stories accordingly. You know. So is there anything you used? Uh, you guys have used in terms of uh, technology that really blown you over? It's made your life easier, whether it's AI or or anything to do with digital mm -hmm. or even VFX. Um, no, I think there's been a. I haven't personally. Yeah. But I am. I am sort of kind of like very, I, I am a little anti-AI in terms of, especially when it, when you're using it for the creative purpose. I understand the idea of using AI to be able to better your, hmm. or to finesse certain kind of things. So hmm. I've been keeping my hands off it. I've tried it and I'm like, right. I'm, I'm hands off. So I'm not, I'm, I'm actually the wrong person to answer that question if anybody else wants uh, you know, to. We are say. using a bit of AI, it's just started it. Your next script is by ChatGPT? No. Yeah, no, it would have been easy, right? <laughs> I won't, I won't let. Imagine, yeah, imagine <laughs> uh, replacing actors, get them all faces and say we don't need to wait for dates. Yeah. We just sit and make our own animated film with AI, with the faces <laughs> of actors. But we are using it for uh, character sketches lately. Right. And it is pretty impressive. Yeah. It's scarily impressive because we keep looking for... Uh,